Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today personal chef Elliot Cohen will show us how to make steak au poivre for two. We need some peppercorns, so that's what we have here. You need to use black peppercorns and if you want you can add some colored peppercorns to it for some color. We're going to grind these up, we're going to press them into the steak to make a crust and then we're going to cook the steak uh, in a pan and it's going to become really nice and crispy and flavorful. And then after that we're going to make a quick sauce and put them together and um, it's going to be really yummy. So I'm going to take my peppercorns. I'm using a grinder here. You could do this in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a pot. I'm just going to pulse it a little bit. I want the peppers chunky. I don't want them ground. So I've got this in a little pan here. I'm going to flatten this out. So I'm going to take this New York sirloin and I'm going to just press it into this peppercorn crust. I'm going to flip it over. And when I first started making this years ago, I thought it's a lot of pepper, but it ends up just being wonderful. And the, the nice sauce we're going to make is just going to be a great contrast for the peppercorns. So now we also want to salt our steak. So we're going to add some salt here, press that in. And now we're ready to cook the steak. Very, very important when you're cooking meat or in fact, when you're cooking anything that's kept in the fridge, you want to bring it out a little bit before you cook it because food cooks more evenly and more efficiently from room temperature. So this steak's been on the counter about 30 minutes. So I'm going to heat up my pan. And I really want the pan to be hot because I want a really nice hard sear on this. And the basic technique for cooking this is I'm going to give it a hard sear on both sides. This steak is going to take about 10 minutes to cook. You can see it's about an inch thick. So my pan is hot now. I'm going to take my vegetable oil and butter Swirl it around. I'm on high heat now. I'm going to place the steak in there. At this point, you don't want to start moving the steak around, checking it. Just let it do its thing for about a one to two minutes. We're going to take a look at it. We just want a very, very nice crust. We're going to turn the steak over. So we're going to let this side brown for about a minute. So now this steak is nicely cooked on the outside, but in the inside, it's still raw to rare. So we got to turn the heat down. And we'll just let this go for a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're going to see how this is doing. You want to be careful when you lift this up so you see how beautiful this looks. I'm going to give it a little touch and it feels like it's around medium rare. And this is just practice. You've got to do this 10 or 20 times and see how it's done and then you'll be able to figure out when your steak is done the way you want it. I like to cook my steaks medium rare to medium. So we're going to put that in there and we're going to rest this steak while we make the sauce. And resting means we're just going to put it in a little foil here and this is going to generate some juice. We're going to take that juice which has a lot of flavor just before we're ready to serve it up and we're going to pour it into the sauce mixture. 